Hey everybody, welcome to another one of Chris's beer reviews. It is my honor and privilege to be uh, reviewing a beer that is not on the market. Um, I have a friend, uh, he actually found uh, my reviews on YouTube. Um, his name is Alessandro, and uh, yeah, basically uh, that's the beer that I'm going to be trying is called a uh, dry hopped amber ale. So uh, hence the title, Alessandro's dry hopped amber ale. Um, yeah, he put it in this bottle. You know, this isn't exactly what, what you're what you're looking at here. Um, I tried peeling the labels off, but it was just a little bit more of an effort than uh, than I expected. So uh, yeah, I'm going to be drinking it out of my wonderful Hobgoblin uh, 500 milliliter pint glass. And um, yeah, I was told uh, to leave uh, this much at the bottom uh, so that the yeast. Um, you know, because apparently this is a really, really fresh brew. Um, nobody else is going to be trying this one. Um, all right, here goes. Let's see the pop. Oh, yeah, by the way, I didn't really go into detail, but um, Mr. Alessandro here um, does his own home brews at home. And uh, he's planning on opening up his own brewery uh, when he finishes uh, business um, in university. So... These are uh, some of his experiments. So yeah, I got another one to try, and it is my pleasure. Hmm, smells a lot like a Wiser beer. I haven't even poured it yet. Okay, now I'm gonna try to do this right. It's looking real good. Perfect. Just the way you wanted it, Alessandro. All right. I'm going to leave that bit. And, yeah, check it out. Looks like a true brew, everybody. Uh, smells really good. The carbonation is swirling around the way that it normally does. We got a nice, wicked, wicked two-finger head here. And let's go. Oh, that's really good, man. That is, it's really good. Um, I don't know any of the ingredients in your beers, so this is going to be interesting to see what I'm, what I'm nailing and what I'm not. I'm really, really picking up on, on. Um, I'm having a brain fart here. Um, I'm really, I, I just mentioned it. I, I really, really pick up on the floral hops. Um, I kind of get like this orangey aftertaste. If anything, the only thing that I could possibly say that I probably don't like is after you take a sip, it kind of um, it leaves this like layer on your tongue of something that isn't necessarily the greatest taste in the world, but it's kind of like an aftertaste. Um, but it's still really good. And when I'm talking about oranges, like when I'm tasting the orange, I'm tasting like the orange peel, if that makes any sense. Not, like, not necessary. How do I, you know when people shave off, like, uh, excuse me, you know when people shave off parts of the orange peel um, until it gets to the point where where it's it's at the, the lighter color of the orange, it, it tasted like you you shredded off a bunch of, you know, the orange peels and some, someone managed to get it into your brew. But, ah, check it out, man, you got lace. Love lace. This is a lot better than uh, than most uh, lagers. I uh, I'm not a big lager fan, and I actually like this better than you know your blue or your Canadian or your Budweiser. One thing I'm starting to notice though is I'm starting to get further down the glass, and it's starting to lose that floral approach.
Yeah, it's not too carbonated. It's not too lightly carbonated. Um, uh, I like your um, traditional, you know, I've said this before, um, wheaty, um, copper tone looking color. I know there's got to be something else in there. It's hard for me to pick up on. And I'm not too much of a beer guy to know what... Oh, that's what the other one's called. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, it's... No wonder I'm liking it. It's not a lager. It's an ale. <laughs> now that I realize that it's an ale again, it, it makes a lot more sense. Everything that it tastes like. <clears throat> it has... A bit of a bitter aftertaste, but it it, it complements the beer, so it's not it's not bad. You know, some beers are way too bitter on the aftertaste, and you're just like, whoa! I don't get that with this. What? I'm only sad because when this is done, it's the last it's the last beer. <laughs> I can't go out and buy it. Uh, you know, I can't give anybody a price because it was free. <laughs> it's not in the stores. So yes, Alessandro, you can check out his channel. He's got some drum videos on there. Strangely enough, uh, we only found out that we had the metal drumming in common after we talked about beer. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to chug this pretty soon. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. It does taste very much like an amber ale, though. Like, you got it spot on, buddy. Like it goes down so much like an amber ale. It's really, really smooth. <coughs> I'm uh, trying to think of the rating for you on this one now, buddy. I said it was above average. Um, wow, sorry about the silence, people. I'm actually sitting here, like, trying to think, like, huh, what am I going to rate this beer? I'm being, I'm going to be completely honest. It's just I don't drink too many amber ales. Uh, I'm trying to compare it to amber ales, but I really shouldn't be. Hmm. hmm. I'm going to think about it, about it while I'm bringing it down. And I'm getting closer to the bottom where the yeast was that you were talking to me about. And I'm starting to taste more and more orange. I don't even know if the orange is in there. This is just something I'm picking up on. If it isn't, if it isn't, if there is no orange in there, and I'm I'm totally fooling myself, then maybe it should be called dry hopped orange ale. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm, I can't believe I didn't say anything, but um, it is a very dry beer. Um, it's not like a Molson dry. Um, like when I think dry beer, I think, you know, it. it I think of that instant like disconnect between the aftertaste. Like when you drink something, uh, mm, I don't know how to discuss dryness in a beer, um, but I am picking up on that on the aftertaste though. So you got that spot on. Very good. Hey, dude, you've seen enough of my reviews to know that if a beer tastes like shit, I usually go ooh or oh. <laughs> no problems, man. No problems. I'm going to give this a 3.3 .3 out of 5. Um, very, very good beer. Uh, no complaints. Um, thank you so much for sharing this with me. You're the man. Um, this will probably be out in a month. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to try to get it to you as quickly as possible.
All right, buddy. Cheers. Thanks for joining me on another one of Chris's beer reviews. Thank you for joining me on a taste tester for Alessandro's uh, home brewing dry hopped amber ale concoction. And yeah, I think that's it. Don't drink and drive, but drink responsibly. <laughs> I don't know. I try to give a little PSA at the ending because, you know, sometimes I do a couple back to back beers and it may not be the healthiest choice, but yeah, yeah. it's just so damn fun. All right, people. <clears throat> Cheers.